Well, let's see what's on the docket. I know someone perfectly suited for this task. I be Captain Potmus Redbeard. Welcome aboard me ship o' love. So, seems the there feller have ventured across land and sea to bring I your computer screens once more. Sterling moves, says I. So without further ado, let's set sail for the shore. Ah! Hello? Potmus Redbeard, you be trying to review these here movies without inviting I? Nancy, gun ye, wily wench. I don't like seen the last of ye off the coast of Western Sahara. I remember that day well. Hmm, weren't that the day I courted you for the gold in your old? Yar. Well, if it were, I fought like hell to keep it, and I had to get settled down, both of you. Yeah. Ye just read off your introduction there, ye funky monkey. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I give you... be reviewing the first installment of Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Released in 2003, The Curse of the Black Pearl is the first in the Turner storyline trilogy of tales, recounting as it does the tale of Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan. Alongside the lovable rogue Jack Sparrow and the tragic villain Hector Barbossa. The movie received glowing reviews on its release and remains a steady favourite among swashbuckling fans. So without further ado, we gives ye the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Curse of Black Pearl. Yar. Tis a fine day in Port Royal, British settlement of the Caribbean as we meet Governor's daughter Elizabeth Swan, and her friend, Blacksmith's Apprentice Will Turner, and the notorious pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow. Alright, Jackie Sparrow, if you get me meaning. Nancy Gum, you tenacious crop! Disgusting's what it is. Oh, and who was the ice fighting to look at Miss Swan's sunken treasure? You've both been at sea too long. Naval Officer James Norrington be getting his promotion. And his lady prize, so you But no such luck as Lizzie falls into the bay. I would have thought of that. Clearly you've never been to Singapore. You know, I've never understood that line. Well, it'd be quite simple, me lad. You see, the ladies of Singapore are this. <laughs> a lady's secrets be her own to keep mass redbeard. Ye be no lady, Nancy Gum. Hey, and I won't bother with my society neither. But no good deed be going unpunished. Thankfully, our Jack be a quicker thinker and escapes. You will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. Right into the path of another luscious jewel, Will Turner. The pair duel to a standstill. But it aren't Will that deals the winning blow. That night, the pearl descends on Port Royal, bringing hell itself with it. Polly. Damn the depths, whatever mutton it ever ratified power lay in the code. 
Our Lizzie starts the plunder and pillage. We not burst our enough like a shine. She forgot to add herself into the bargain. The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. Oi! The code be not so much set in stone with your Ten Commandments. I be more flexible, pliable, like tar balls on the Come the morn, we'll turn her to vengeance them all! Set and they've up and sailed. Finding no help in the king? Will turns to less savory sources. Ah, so lovely, steal a ship. Everyone stay calm, we are taking over the ship. To steal a ship. Needing a crew, our protagonists head for Tortuga. Our Leila Tortuga, the stories it could tell. I have commented a fair few flotillas after a couple of nights in that paradise of rum and rowdiness. Back aboard the Pearl! A fine feast! Leads to a chillin' revelation. Start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Meanwhile, Jack puts a crew together to catch the pearl. But it'd be looking grim for our Lizzie, as the cursed pirates take her to be a blood sacrifice to appease the heathen gods. We got my blood. The blood undone. Jellyfish. Hey man, waste not. The curse is still upon us! Yes. Will appears and disappears with Lizzie. While Jack be making his own deals. You know whose blood we need. The Pearl catches up to the Pilford Interceptor and sets two. Worse than that, the medallion's gone astray. Lucky for Will as he escapes. But the devil will always be in the details. I agreed she'd go free, but it was you who failed to specify when or where. Yeah, Mad Moon Arthur. All them loving long looks takes forever. Better just trip him up and send him to death right quick. Yeah, Are they like that tiny moon me off the coast of Brazil? Ye told me ye were having boasting savages, Sprog. Your crew never follow away with ye in the spoons like that. Alright, I think it was just the Bangalore belly then. And besides, ye marooned me the very next year for beating ye the Egyptian stripes. So it turns out as Jack and Lizzie be marooned. But not for long. That signal is over a thousand feet high. There'll be no living with her after this. One pair strikes a deal for their chance to rescue Will. For me, as a wedding gift. And here's the tale of Bootstrap Bill. Now, the big finish! Jack goes to rescue Will! The 
cursed purlers takes a walk, and the two mortal foes squares off. Lizzie frees the Tortuga crew to steal back the pearl while she rescues Will. You like pain? <laughs> Try wearing a corset. Or it'd be so bad if you got a corset large enough. And don't be looking at me like that, Red Babe. You'd be sizing up yourself. Will lifts the curse. And we ends with Will embracing the pirate life and Captain Sparrow at the helm of his beloved Pearl. And that, mateys, were the curse of the Black Pearl. I know he'd be proud to bear this cargo aboard me ship of love. Yeah, I'd put it into the House of Love myself. This is the action comedy swashbuckler that single-handedly revived the pirate genre. The script is, admittedly, slightly confusing on first watch, but there are plenty of good lines, humour and pathos to keep the plot from flagging, even at a sizeable 137 minutes. As to the performances, the humorless Commodore Norrington be a properly hateable villain, that any side could be called a villain in this era free for all. Barbosa exudes nasty, a greedy pirate with a tragic end and an apple fixation. The leads surely aren't so interesting, but ye be stuck with them two movies more. The love story is a mite predictable, I'll admit, but it's only one thread in a rich tapestry of rum, swordplay, and high adventure on the high seas. So thank ye, Master Funky Monkey, for loaning your house of love. Tour good to see what the world thinks of pirates and modern age. My pleasure, Captain. And would you do me the honour of returning next time for the sequel? Yar, ye terrain stopping. Arr, you'll not be rid of ice so easy. And thank you for watching, shipmates. Until the next, be on your way.